that I made about five hours ago. Um, I really wanted about 200 likes because I do have about 820 subs. But, um, yeah, I do have about 820 subs, and I thought I could get at least 200 likes out of it, but I guess not, so, but I wanted to make a tutorial anyways, I only got 5 likes, but, I mean, seems like a few of you guys like it, so, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it, so, what you wanna do is open up Cinema 40, you want, I mean, I'll just start off by making a sky, I mean, there's really no need, but I'm just gonna make a sky. Um, you want to put in a, a cube. Just leave the cube there for now and go and make a new material. You want to open up that new material and go to the texture on the color. Drop it down. Go to load image. You just want to load a clip. Um, I'll just load my 50 cal clip. You want to hit no. Wait a little bit. You'll notice that it popped up. And okay, that's your color. So what you want to do is you want to go into your folder and find what where that clip was so mine was in my montage folder and if you click on it you can see the frame width and frame height this one is 1280 by 720 so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your cube and you're gonna do 1280 by 720 and you wanna zoom out and then what you wanna do is drag your material onto that cube you can kinda see it um, when you slide this, it's not going to change, but when you render it in the beginning, you'll see that. And if you move it up to like 55, it still doesn't change, but once you render it, you can obviously see that it does play. So, with that, um, you're almost there, but you can see on the sides, it's got it on the sides too. And you don't want that, because it just looks sloppy. So what you want to do is, um, go to cube, and then go to the material. You want to go down the side right here and go hit down both and just click front that would change it a little bit but it really it's still on the side so and so what you do is you go to cube and size z you just want to drop down to one it makes it really skinny and you can't see the side but you obviously don't want to have it like that i mean because that just it doesn't look right so after you do that you want to hold control on the cube and drag the cube down it makes a new one what you want to do is then delete the material on that cube, um, and then move it back a little bit. Um, then you want to make the size Z, and you just want to make it bigger on that one, on the one that you put in the back. And once you make it to about where you want, I mean, about 115 is good. I mean, if you want it really fat, you can make it really fat, but then just drag it back until that front picture is on there. I mean, to make it pretty precise, you can go onto this, just align it that way. But I mean, you can get a good estimate. Oops. Um. All right. So once you do that, you can render it out, and you'll notice that it's now there. Um. To make it not look like it's floating in the sky, what I just do is I put in a plane. Um. Just drag it down underneath. Um. And then just extend it. Um, if you don't want, if you don't want that, uh, um, cause you know when you put in a plane and you render it out, you can still see the plane and it's, yeah, it looks bad. Go to the plane and right click on it, go to Cinema 40 Tags, and, uh, and go to Compositing and click on it. Then in that, in that, uh, tag, go to the Compositing Background and check it off. When you go over, you should see that it the plane doesn't show up there, but it is there. So then you can you can go into the render settings, go to effect, and put in an ambient occlusion, which makes the shadowing a lot better. Just change it to whatever. I mean, you can put it just to 200. That will bring out the shadows a lot, but you want it to look kind of you want to look want it to look like it's on the ground. So when you see it, looks like it's just resting there, and you got your clip there and stuff, and it just it looks nice. Okay, there's a few things that I recommend and I don't recommend with doing this. Um, it is a very cool way to make videos and stuff, if you think it's interesting. But, it does take a long time to render, depending on how long your clip is. This is only uh, a minute long clip, 
and that was about 1700 um, frames and that took overnight to render and it was kind of ridiculous but um, I recommend only doing this on short clips or just if you want to make a promo and you just want to have like a little clip like that I mean that's cool too but I only recommend this on small clips like we can we can go to like 500 frames which is a lot I mean that's I don't even know how many seconds that really is but even if you drag it to the end of the 500 I'm sure this clip isn't even over yet yeah it's not even it's like halfway through at this point um so yeah I recommend only doing this on small clips if you want um like yeah that's basically it I mean it's not difficult um it just depends on how you want it to look but that's just a little sample but that's for you guys to work with I mean if you like it thumbs up um help me out I mean I have a lot of unlegit subs from being in people's sub boxes for my graphics so I got a lot of non-legit subs and I'm trying to grow my channel legitly so um, I got out of all my sub boxes and I'm just going legit now. I've been legit since like 690 subs. So hopefully I keep growing. Um, hopefully I can be a YouTube partner by the end of the year or even earlier. I mean, we'll see. Um, hope you guys like the video. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Um, send me a message if you need any help. I'd be glad to help you. Um, but yeah, hope this helped. Um, thanks for watching.